What causes autism? The thoughts keep changing. In the 1940s, autism was defined as a rare childhood psychosis with characteristics of the inability to relate to people. At the time, bad parenting was to blame. Mothers in particular were accused of being cold and frigid, and many children were institutionalized. This was referred to as the refrigerator mother theory. But in the 1960s, Bernard Rimblin, a psychologist and a parent of a child with autism, challenged this theory by collecting evidence that proved autism was a biological condition that was triggered by environmental toxins. In the 1990s, research associated the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine with autism. These findings were later retracted and unproven based on population-based research. Ever since the 1980s, there's been a growing interest in the genetic causes of autism. But despite massive financial investments, no gene for autism has been found. Instead, scientists think that hundreds of genes are interacting with each other and the environment, a phenomenon I call genomic styles of thought. Now, scientists are investigating entire genomes and their interaction with environments such as prenatal exposures and paternal age. More recently, individuals with autism are beginning to challenge us to think about it as a different way of being. Not as a gene that needs to be fixed or disabilities that need to be cured. The causes of autism are far from settled. It's a moving target and our understanding will continue to change both socially and scientifically.